To fit type inference into our curly type checker, we need to look for all of the places where our type checker currently uses equal. In all of those places, we're checking that some type is exactly equal to some other type. But with type variables involved, we no longer want to check whether some type is exactly the same as another type because the other type might have a variable. Instead, we need to replace uses of equal with unify. Unify takes two types and it makes sure that they're consistent with each other. If they're consistent, then it returns zero values. If they're inconsistent, then it raises a type error. And to raise that type error, it's nice to have an expression. So actually, we'll have unify in the end take an expression, uh, which it uses only to complain if it needs to that these two types don't match up. You'll notice that unify has an exclamation mark in its name. That's because the process of checking whether these two types are consistent may involve assigning a type variable to another type for use in further unification. And those further unifications will look up type uh, assignments in those type variables, and the lookup function is resolve. Resolve takes a type, normally a type variable, or that's when resolve does something interesting. If it gets a type variable and that type variable has been assigned to another type, then resolve returns that other type, and it recurs so that it can look through chains of type assignments.